Welcome to week 10 of the 2021 school year. Uh, it has been a quick year to say the least. Um, things that are going on this week, we have Trunk or Treat tonight, uh, hosted or sponsored by the preschool. And uh, if you want to bring your children out to participate in the trunk or treat there will be uh, i believe 13 vehicles participating and they will start in front of the elementary uh, and you'll park in the elementary parking lot and then the families will get out and walk around and end up in front of the preschool uh, we ask that everyone uh, make sure that they are trying to uh, social distance. So each family has to stay with each family and stay six, at least six feet apart from the other families. Um, only one family at a uh, trunk at a time uh, and then keep it moving that way. And we will do our best uh, to uh, try to keep everyone safe. Make sure that everyone is wearing your masks. Uh, and again, that is tonight from 5.30 to 7.30. From 5.30 to 6.30, it is for students or children that are age five and under. And from 6.30 to 7.30, it's for children over the age of five. We have had a fun red ribbon week this week uh, with lots of students that have participated in dressing up and uh, participating in the activities that were going on. One part of the Red Ribbon Week was the character parade in the elementary. And yesterday I went over and, and watched as the students came through and, and showed off their costumes uh, that represented the characters that they were dressing for for their favorite book. Uh, lots of neat and original ideas in that. I went to the Renaissance Rally that was hosted by the high school yesterday and watched as students played games and participated in the fun activities that were presented there. Don't forget that Tuesday, November the 3rd is election day. And uh, I hope that if you are 18 and over that you are registered and will go out and participate in the uh, November election. Tonight's football game against Earl has been canceled due to uh, the coronavirus and the numbers uh, at the Earl School. Um, so there will be no football game tonight. I know that is disappointing to Coach Austin. He is wanting to get his team out there to play, uh, but due to um, circumstances out of his control and out of the uh, Cedar Ridge School District's control, there will be no football tonight. This week, our volleyball team, coached by Coach Province, uh, went and played in the state tournament. Now they were beat out in the first round. Uh, however, they did get to participate in that state volleyball tournament. And this next week we will have our cross country. We have two individuals from Cedar Ridge High School who will be participating in the state uh, cross country meet. Uh, the cross country team is coached by uh, Coach Emily McMasters and she has two students, Kate Province and James Cleveland, that will be uh, going to run in the state uh, cross country meet on November the 5th at the Oakland infield in Hot Springs. And so I'd like to wish them luck. And uh, I know that they will do a good job in representing the Cedar Ridge School District. Again, we are ending week 10 and I thank you for joining me and I'll see you next week.